now listen carefully, provided these trust her and truly acknowledge her right to true freedom in fulfilling her mission. Now, if you look at the history of the papacy, you would wonder whether the nations of the world could really trust the papacy. But uh, what this is saying is that the papacy can make a great contribution to the world in social and economic matters as long as the nations of the world are willing to trust the papacy. It is the papacy's objective, folks, to reestablish the union of church and state that existed during the 1260 years of papal supremacy. The ultimate papal objective is to get the civil powers of the world to enforce the sign of the papacy's authority, which we have already noticed is the observance of Sunday as the day of rest. It is no coincidence that the international community is promoting the identical causes that the Roman Catholic Church is proposing these days. Pope Francis the, the, uh, I has found three causes that resonate with the political worlds of the uh, politi political leaders of the entire world. Number one, the need to eradicate poverty and to solve the problem of massive migration. Number two, the need to save the family, however you define the word family. And finally, the need to solve the severe problem of climate change. And Francis has linked all three of these causes of his with the need for a Sunday rest. I have